So that is it. That is the fossil. Looking at this, the, the first thing I think you think of is, is it looks like a saw blade. For a long time, paleontologists and marine archaeologists have found fossils that change our understanding of ancient life. But the discoveries from beneath the ancient seas of Canada are especially wild. The Loch Ness Monster is undoubtedly the most famous alleged plesiosaur-like creature, but it's not the only one. Revealing creatures that seem like they're from science fiction. Imagine predators with backward-facing mouths, armored creatures with sharp spines, and sharks with jaws like circular saws. These fossils are from millions of years ago, covering the time when many new animals first appeared, all the way to the age of giant sea reptiles. Let's get to know each fossil that tells its own story, making us update our history books and see Earth's ancient oceans in a whole new way. Number 15, Hallucigenia. The story of Hallucigenia starts with one of paleontology's most famous reinterpretations. When this peculiar creature was first found in Canada's Burgess Shale, scientists initially reconstructed it upside down. For years, it was thought to be a strange organism that walked on sharp spines, with tentacles on its back. This early misunderstanding highlights how new evidence continually refines our picture of prehistoric life. The real Hallucigenia is even more amazing. This ancient sea animal walked on clawed legs and had sharp spines on its back for protection. The biggest surprise was its throat, which was lined with needle-like teeth, a discovery that changed what scientists thought about early animal evolution. Hallucigenia is a prime example of the experimental nature of life during the Cambrian period, which began about 541 million years ago. During this time, evolution was experimenting with many strange animal designs. Most of these experiments, including hallucigenias, didn't survive. Even so, this tiny two-inch creature is famous. It shows how many different ways early animals developed to move, eat, and protect themselves. Its name means dreamlike, a perfect fit for such a bizarre-looking animal. Number 14, Opabinia. As we explore the surreal world of Cambrian Canada, we find Opabinia, a creature so unusual that early paleontologists were initially baffled by its existence. This marine predator had five mushroom-shaped eyes on stalks, giving it a nearly 360-degree view of its surroundings. However, the eyes were only one of its many strange features. Opabinia had two very strange features for hunting. First, it had a long, tube-like arm on its head with a claw on the end. This lets it safely snatch food from a distance. Second, its mouth was in a bizarre place, on its underside, facing backward. This means it had to pass food under its body to eat, a method unlike any animal today. These well-preserved fossils give scientists a rare look at how hunting worked in the ancient world. Number 13, Helicoprion, the buzzsaw shark. Helicoprion, a relative of modern sharks, possessed one of nature's most puzzling adaptations, a spiral of teeth in its lower jaw that resembled a circular saw. For more than a century after its discovery, scientists struggled to figure out how this buzzsaw shark could have functioned with such a strange and seemingly impractical jaw structure. For a long time, scientists were baffled by Helicoprion's spiral of teeth. They didn't know where it belonged, with some guessing it was a fin on its back or a horn on its nose. Modern CT scans finally solved the puzzle. The scans showed the tooth spiral was inside the lower jaw, where it functioned as a tooth whorl embedded in the lower jaw used to slice soft prey. This shark likely used its tooth whorl to shear soft prey like squid, allowing it to become a formidable specialist on soft-bodied prey in ancient oceans. Number 12, Nectocaris. One of the most fascinating creatures from the Burgess Shale is Nectocaris. Living over 500 million years ago in the warm seas that once covered present-day British Columbia, this soft-bodied animal had a flattened, kite-shaped body with fins that allowed it to move gracefully through the water. At the front, it had two stalked eyes and a pair of tentacles, giving it an alien-like appearance reminiscent of an early squid. 
Nectocaris's most amazing feature was a funnel under its body. Scientists believe it used this for jet propulsion, much like modern squids and octopuses. If this interpretation is correct, it means Nectocaris was capable of rapid bursts of speed over half a billion years ago, an ability previously thought to have evolved much later in history. For years, scientists didn't know what kind of animal Nectocaris was. Now, some researchers interpret it as an early relative of squids and octopuses. If they're right, it rewrites history, pushing back the origins of this intelligent group by 30 million years. Number 11. Trascosaura sandrae, a recently reported large marine reptile from Vancouver Island. At over 30 feet long, it was a top predator in the warm, shallow oceans about 85 million years ago. It had a long head filled with cone-shaped teeth, perfect for catching slippery fish, and powerful flippers that made it a strong, long-distance swimmer. Uh, the scientists could ascertain the fact that they are different to all the rest of the elasmosaurs in the world. The holotype preserves articulated bones and possible skin impressions, offering rare anatomical detail. Internal soft tissue interpretations remain uncertain. This gives scientists a rare look at its biology and suggests it had special abilities for deep diving and hunting underwater for long periods. Because more fossils were found together, it is likely that these giants lived and traveled in groups. Chemical tests on the bones are also helping scientists build a clear picture of the entire food web in the ancient Canadian seas. Number 10, ancient water. Over 1.5 billion years old, deep inside a Canadian mine, scientists found the oldest water on Earth. It has been trapped in rock over a mile beneath the surface for more than 1.5 billion years, completely isolated from the modern world. This ancient water is very different from today's oceans. It's full of gases like hydrogen and methane. These are the perfect ingredients to support tiny life forms, microbes, that could have survived on chemical reactions instead of sunlight. This exciting discovery is like a liquid time capsule. It not only gives geologists a direct look at ancient subsurface water chemistry, but also provides clues about how life might exist in extreme environments on other planets. Number 9. Titanocoris genesi. Titanocoris gyensi is another remarkable Cambrian arthropod from the Burgess Shale in the Canadian Rockies. At over 1.5 feet long, this creature was a giant in its time, towering over most of its contemporaries, which were often smaller than a fingernail. Titanocoris is nicknamed the giant swimming head because of its large protective head shield shaped like a helmet. It used a pair of spiny frontal appendages to scoop small prey from the sea floor. With its relatively short body, small swimming fins, and large compound eyes set far back on its head shield, Titanocoris was a dominant predator that demonstrates the complexity of early marine food webs. Number 8. Bristle Worms Everything in the sea stops for bristle worms. If you don't, you will pay the price. Bristle worms, also known as polychaetes, are an ancient class of segmented marine worms found in Canadian fossil sites like the Burgess Shale. Some of these fossils date back over 500 million years. One notable example is Canadia spinosa, a small worm characterized by its numerous bristled appendages called parapodia, which it used to move along the seafloor. Fossils show that these worms played an important role in their ecosystems by burrowing through sediment and feeding on organic matter. The discovery of complex networks of fossilized burrows has revealed that ancient seafloor communities were much more active and thriving than previously believed. Number 7. Stethacanthus shark Perhaps one of the most unusual adaptations found in Canada's ancient seas belonged to the male Stethacanthus shark. These prehistoric predators developed a dorsal fin so strange that paleontologists have nicknamed it the ironing board fin. This flattened, anvil-shaped fin was covered in tooth-like scales, making it a unique feature in the animal kingdom. For decades, its function was a mystery, as it seemed impractical for swimming. The current leading theory is that these elaborate fins were used for sexual display, similar to a peacock's tail. Males with the most impressive fins may have been more successful in attracting mates, even if the structure created a slight disadvantage in swimming. This idea is supported by the fact that only male Stethacanthus had these modified fins, while females had a more traditional shark-like anatomy. 
Number six, Tegopelter. The fossil record also includes trace fossils, tracks, burrows, and marks left by ancient creatures that tell us about their behavior. Tegopelt, an early arthropod from Canadian formations, has provided key evidence of predator-prey dynamics in Cambrian seas. Trace fossils left by Tegopelter show systematic searching patterns, suggesting these ancient predators used strategies to find prey instead of just wandering randomly. The size of the tracks indicates Tegopelte was one of the larger predators of its time. Some track sequences even show multiple individuals moving together, hinting, though not proving, possible coordinated movement or social behaviors far earlier in the evolutionary timeline than previously thought. Number 5. Picaya. A tiny 2-inch fossil found in Canada, called Picaya, is one of our earliest known ancestors. This creature looked like a small eel and lived in the ancient seas. What made it so special was a key feature that led to the evolution of all animals with backbones, including humans. Picaya's most important part was its notochord, a flexible rod that ran along its back. This was the world's first primitive spine. This simple structure provided the foundation for the backbone that all vertebrates have today, making Picaya the first known member of our evolutionary family tree. Picaya was an active swimmer that moved through the water like a fish. This ability to move quickly was a huge advantage over other slow-moving or stationary creatures at the time. It allowed Picaya to find new food sources and to escape from predators more easily. Even more exciting, some studies suggest possible neural structures and sensory organs. This surprising discovery suggests that complex nervous systems started to develop much earlier in history than scientists once believed. Number 4. Dinocephalian Therapsids The Dinocephalians, whose name means terrible heads, were an early group of mammal-like reptiles. These powerful predators are important because they show the transition from life in the sea to life on land. They were terrestrial therapsids, included here for shoreline context, hunting along shores and in shallow waters. Isotope data indicate mixed marine terrestrial prey. Their terrible heads were their most unique feature. They had massive jaw muscles for a bone-crushing bite, and some species grew thick skull caps and bony horns, likely used for fighting or showing off. Most importantly, their fossils reveal some of the first steps in the evolution of mammals. Evidence suggests they had faster metabolisms than typical reptiles, and may have even had primitive fur to help them stay warm. Although this evolutionary line eventually went extinct, their unique traits were a crucial stepping stone on the long road to mammals. Number 3. Wewaxia Also, navigating the Cambrian seafloor was Wewaxia, a peculiar creature covered in an impressive coat of arm armor. This palm-sized organism was protected by overlapping scales and long defensive spines, giving it one of the most effective defense systems in its environment. This dual defense allowed Wewaxia to stay mobile while being well protected from predators. Scientists continue to debate whether it was an early mollusk or an arthropod. Recently, some specimens may indicate a muscular foot, suggesting it moved like an armored slug, grazing on organic matter on the ocean floor. Number 2. Morella Morella splendens, also known as the lace crab, is one of the most common fossils from the Burgess Shale. Discovered in 1909, Morella became a symbol of the Cambrian Explosion, the period when most major animal groups first appeared. Despite its nickname, Morella was not a crab, but a unique type of arthropod on its own evolutionary branch. It was a bottom dweller that likely filtered tiny food particles from the sediment. With over 25,000 specimens found, Morella has provided scientists with unparalleled insight into early arthropod biology and the complexity of Cambrian ecosystems. Number 1. Scania Scania fragilis was a small creature from Canada's Burgess Shale, measuring less than half an inch long. It's another fascinating example from the Cambrian explosion, a time when many new types of sea animals suddenly appeared. Its body was covered by a heart-shaped shell with a ridge running down the middle. Scania had two different types of legs, five long pairs at the front that stuck out past its shell, with the first pair likely acting as feelers, and shorter legs on the rest of its body that remained hidden underneath. 
So what do you think about these strange creatures? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.